Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tan. If you're new around here, what's up noob? So Inking sent me a machine called the Inking Now TA1 for a review. But is it any good? Let's find out. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Tan. If you're new around here, what's up noob? So Inking has decided to put a quality machine on the hand of every artist out there from all walks of life. Doesn't matter if you're short, tall, rich, poor, bald, or handsome. They want to put a quality machine at a good price in your hand. So when Inking told me that they were going to send the machine, my nipples got, got slightly harder. And then when it arrived, my nipples were really hard, like hard. So let's take a tour of the box and it's a nice looking box, you know what I mean? It's magnetic, it's cardboard, and when we open the box, we're greeted with this card here. Basically, um, it's Inking's warranty card. It's a little flip booklet. And right here, you're looking at the specs of the machine. Uh, just the things you want to know about it, you know what I mean? Motor size, voltage, and whatnot. Right here, instructions are basically, you know, what you can and can't do, and the warning signs back of the card we have the warranty so in case your, your machine fails you know you can send it to inking and you have a card to prove that it's under warranty let me focus in right here this is our warranty card for this machine and now we have the machine right here and it's a very nice looking machine like this is sleek also, we have the charging port or charging box or a charging adapter for this machine. There's a little bit of branding here on the side, but yeah, very standard in most inking or easy tattoo machines. So we go ahead and remove this part and we are greeted with these two cartridges right here. And I wouldn't use them. I'm not going to use them. That's why they're still there. And yeah, yeah, it's just a seven and a mag. Let's put these guys back. Um, this little box right here houses our USB, USB A to USB to micro USB cable. So like the older Android charging cable, or the if you want to call it that, it's just a micro USB or mini USB. It's just a standard cable, and the the card does say to use this cable. Don't use any other cable. Use this cable specifically for optimal charging, I guess, capacity or time. And lastly, our battery, because this machine does not run on hopes and dreams. So that's the full tour of the box. Let's get it. Let's talk about prices. On AliExpress, the only place I found it, I found it on eBay, but um, it's like $600 on eBay through some third-party seller. So just avoid that, guys. So for now, if you're interested in picking up this machine, I'll put the link to AliExpress. It'll be in the description. Also, before I get into prices, Inking has given me a coupon code for 10% off on this machine for all my viewers. So if you're interested in picking up this machine, be sure to pick it up through the link because you'll get a 10% discount. So you win, I win, Inking wins, we all win. So prices on AliExpress, $157.01. Factor in that 10% discount, uh, The it's an affiliate link, so... If you purchase through the link, you'll, you'd be helping out the channel a lot. And another way you can help the channel is by hitting that like button, subscribing, hitting that bell notification, and dropping a comment. But enough about that, let's move on. AliExpress, guys. That's the only place I found it. I, I looked for it on Amazon. I looked for it on eBay. As of, as of the time of recording this video, the only place you can pick it up is AliExpress. The chassis is aluminum. It is carved from a single piece of aluminum. The grip is aluminum. The machine, the entire machine is aluminum. This robot dong is served in three colors, red, silver, like mine, and black. I personally would have loved the red color, but beggars can be choosers, and I appreciate the thought, Inking. Thank you. So this machine is light. Crazy light. Like, really light. It only weighs 119 grams. So to put it in um, into perspective, I've been using heavier machines past the 200 grams you know somewhere in the 220s 230s 240s so um 
I forgot how good it feels to use a light machine in the hand for those long sessions. You know what I mean? Like this is not, this doesn't bother you at all. You, you, you don't feel it in the hand. You don't feel the weight in the hand. You know what I mean? So I kind of had to get used to using the machine, but once I did, I loved every minute of it. This is super light, like amazingly light. It's lighter than a butterfly's fart. We get not one, but two 2000 milliamp hour ba batteries. The downside to these batteries is that they take about three hours to charge. But as you guys know, Inking provided this free charger in the box and that kind of lightens the blow of like, you know, the slow charging time. So that's a plus. Thanks, Inking. I found that one battery will get you through seven hours of just money making pleasure. And speaking about money, you can literally see your money stack up because check this. Inking has provided a stopwatch baked right into this robot dong. Inking, just take my money already. Just take it. So the meat of this robot dong is 1.26 inches in girth and in length is 5 inches even. So, so not only is this robot dong average, it is surprisingly nice in the hand. So, base, so hand jamming this thing for hours is a breeze. The now TA1 features a 3.5 millimeter stroke. And unfortunately, you cannot open this machine. So if you need servicing, you will have to send it to inking, as you saw earlier in the video with the warranty card. Moving on. The grip, the click grip on this machine is one of the most satisfying grips I've ever had. This is honestly one of the most satisfying robot dongs I've I've had the joy of playing with because listen to these listen to these clicks <laughs> settle down seriously it's great this thing is badass i've been using this thing as a fidget toy while i'm thinking of designs you know what i mean at the top of the machine inking has decided to brand it that's an inking dung in your hand right now Voltage goes up by 0.1, and if you press and hold, it goes up faster. It goes down by 0.1, also press and hold, and it goes down faster. It has a pause feature and a continue feature. The, the, the timer will blink, indicating that the machine is paused, just in case you can't hear it or feel it. That doesn't mean that the machine is going to vibrate excessively. It just means that it vibrates regular, but pay attention. If you can't feel, if you can't feel those vibrations, then... What are you doing? And since we get that versatility by with the voltage increase by 0.1, this machine is easier to pick up than trying to take nuts from a blind squirrel. Powering the now TA1 is a 2610 cordless motor. Plenty of juice, plenty of beef. The At 12 volts, this machine is hitting at 12,000 RPM. Jesus Christ, why? And that's plenty of power to push any needle that you throw that you decide to throw at it with without any hiccups. This uh, this polished aluminum is very slippery, so you kind of have to get creative when you decide to um, wrap it because it it, it is uh, it is slippery. Removing the grip and exposing the insides, we find three threads, two ball bearings, one O-ring. You guys know how I feel about that. I do not like that very much, but Inking has found a way to give us full adjustability with those three threads. So Xnet. Take pointers. Can you see it? That needle isn't even sticking out. Up to three millimeters of needle hang should give you plenty of, of should give you plenty of versatility. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention: Inking hooked it up with some cartridges. They're back there. If you can, I don't know if you can see the boxes back there. Uh, inking, thank you for the cartridges. Unfortunately, I will not be using them on skin because those cartridge, those that box was not sealed. And that means that it traveled through, you know, whatever conveyor belts and all these things and just picked up all kinds of dust and things like that. So I can't use it or I'm not going to risk it. Um, I guess I can use it for practice on practice skins, you know, sure. But I will not be using it on real skin. But thank you for the kind gesture. I hope your I hope the boxes that you do sell are sealed so that, you know, certain dusts and and certain things don't get inside of the the actual box but again thank you so usually when i review a machine within the the first 
couple tattoos, maybe two or three, I know what I don't like about the machine. That was not the case with this machine. The reason this review took forever is, or took longer than most, is because I kept tattooing until I found some, until I found something I didn't like about it. Which usually, again, within the first two or three tattoos, I know what I don't like about the machine, and that was not the case with this machine. So I had to keep using it and keep using it until I found something I disliked so that I can tell you, hey, this might be an issue. Because believe, believe it or not, this machine is quite literally almost the perfect machine. Again, these are going to be my experiences and they might not be important to you. I prefer 4.0 over 3.5. That's not a con. That's not a bad thing. That's just something I prefer. So, for example, this the top on the on the battery lid has way too many threads. This takes too long, in my opinion, you know, to to take off and, you know, and put back on. Um, it, it feels kind of outdated. If it was like a simple twist on twist off type of deal, that might be more convenient. Um, again, that's just my opinion. And I don't like that there are no extra O-rings included. You know what I mean? Most budget machines come with an extra O-ring or two just because, you know, these O-rings will, they, they will wear out. And, you know, before you know it, your grip doesn't feel as good and it feels like it's loose. Not that it's going to go anywhere, you know what I mean? Because it's got the ball, it has the ball bearings, but it just, it, it starts to feel like it's worn out. And finding O-rings for this machine is a pain in the butt cheeks, man. It It's it's hard. Well, it's not hard. It, it's just, it's tedious. You know what I mean? You have to buy a giant pack of it, multiple sizes, just to get the right size. And, some, and even then, sometimes they don't fit because they're either too thick or too thin. And it's just, oof, it's a pain. So inking for the next time, try to include some extra O-rings. It'll help the artist a lot. Or, you know... Maybe you guys put a link in your store just for O-rings, just so that we can purchase O-rings directly from you guys. You know what I mean? So when we order the machine, we can just toss in those extra O-rings in there. We can add the extra O-rings to the cart and just check them out like that. You know what I mean? So we're, we're future-proofing ourselves. It's just one less thing to worry about. Another thing I didn't like is how slippery this machine is. This machine is really slippery like it's polished aluminum and it's it it's it's very slippery so again like i said earlier wrapping this thing is it, it takes creativity um saran wrap will definitely not work on this you need barrier film something with some kind of adhesive to stick to this machine because regular saran wrap will not cling onto this one thing i really don't like is how i cannot access the motor and it, it it's not easy to access this this motor you know what i mean if i need to service this machine for example lube the 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 cam and and whatnot i can't do it because this machine is almost sealed if i have to literally if i have to take the screen apart or 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 break something trying to lubricate this machine that's a con that's not a good thing so like i said this machine is almost perfect not being able to lubricate a cam or a bearing or you know a st the stroke is it's it's kind of scary because you we need to be able to do that we need to be, we need to be able to clean that sterilize it and lubricate it just so it'll it'll last you know what i mean if if the oils if the machine gets too hot and those oils or 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 lubes burn out then you know that's going to cause premature wear in our cam in our stroke so yeah, um, this is not the best design. But as far as tattoos, this machine is accurate, very very nice. If you're if you're a a stipple artist, this is right up your alley. If you're a black and gray artist, this is right up your alley. Color artist, this is right up your alley. This 3.5 on this 2610 motor is a great option. If you're in the market for a pen, a wireless tattoo pen, this guy here. This is your this is this is an awesome candidate because again this machine is light it's like really light not light to where it feels cheap but light enough to where it's comfortable to use you know what I mean you can use it for for long hours and you your arm wrist shoulder they don't hurt they you don't feel that strain of of something heavy in your hand the thing the only thing that's going to get tired is your stretching hand that's it 
So can I recommend this machine? Um, absolutely, absolutely. I can 100% recommend this machine because again, this is not that expensive. $157 with that, on top of that 10% discount, this is a steal. This is a bargain. This is a machine that if you have a machine already, right? If you already have your Bishop, your Cheyennes, your FK irons or whatnot, or your Dragon Hawks, your X nets, if you have your machines, this is an extra and you need an extra backup. This is a solid option. Remember two batteries, the charging case included in the box, Apple, Samsung, take note of this. Inking is still providing chargers in the box. Put it back in the box. LCD displays time. We have a battery drain. We have a battery icon. We have a voltage icon increments by 0.1 ratchet grip aluminum fully autoclavable. Now this is one. Let me tell you something that I do like about this machine. So normally if you are a, if you are a cold sterilization type of person or a type of artist, then you know that you need to fully submerge your grips in cavicide, maticide, or whatever sterilizing solution you of your choice. You require a lot less liquid or, or sterilization solution to submerge this little guy as opposed to something like this. You can see the difference. So you're saving money in chemicals. Got tactical buttons. The, the pros to this machine just go on and on. It's light, it's cheap, two batteries, charger, ratchet grip, timer, voltage goes up and down by 0.1, pause feature, aluminum, and for the price, this machine is a banger for sure. Inking, great job. But again, just keep in mind of the things I did say that maybe you guys can improve, like include those extra O-rings, maybe change that top so it's less threads, just so that, you know, our we're not wasting our time you know, dicking around trying to take this off. And then, you know, the, 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 the client's already sore. And then, you know, they have to, we have to pause the skin on the client cools down. And then you go to retouch and it's like, Ugh, you know, super painful, you know, like it just make it to where it's one, one twist it's off, switch it just so that we're not wasting the client's time and our time. But again, should you pick this guy up? Definitely. I can 100% recommend this machine. 100%. Inking, great job on this machine. I can't wait to see what you guys release next. I know you guys mentioned that you guys are developing a third machine in the Now TA series. And honestly, if the, the Now TA2 is better than this, I can't wait to see what you guys do with the Now TA3. Honestly, because this, this machine, banger. Great job. Awesome job, guys. All right, guys and gals, that's it for my review. If you guys like the video, hit a like. If you guys dislike the video, hit a dislike. Questions and comments, put it in the comments. What color would you guys get if you guys were to get it? If I forgot to mention something, put it in the comments, guys. You know, forgive me, I'm human. Tattoo designs, work, family, you know what I mean? All that good jazz. Again, YouTube, thank you for stopping by and 